Hi guys, Abzir and welcome to this video. So in this video, I'm going to be showing you how you can uncover the keywords that your competitors are ranking for and what they're optimizing for and how you can use them for yourself. So for this, we're going to be using the help of AI and we're also going to be using obviously our competitors as well. So the way that I like to do this myself is I like to go over to Google and then I like to have a look at, um, for my um, customers or for my competitors and see what they're actually ranking for. Okay. Okay, so let's just say, for example, I wanted to find out everything that they're ranking for for backlinks. So what I've done here is I've written site colon backlinko. So basically, that's my competitor, for example. They're not, but just say they are. Okay, and then whatever keyword that I'm actually looking for down here. Okay, and as you can see, they've actually got lots of pages down here. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to do... I'm going to do 10 of their URLs and try and extract as many keywords as possible with the help of AI. OK, and the way that I do this is I just go over to Google. I do my search like this and then I use this um, plugin for Mozilla Firefox and I believe it's for Chrome as well. It's called Link Gopher. And when I click on this, I'm able to extract all links. I'm ex able to extract only the domains, extract links by a filter. And um, that's about it. So I'm going to go ahead and click on extract all links. Okay, and down here, I'm going to look for, obviously, there's a lot of clutter in here as well. So I'm going to look for all the backlinko URLs. So I'm going to go from this one here. Okay, we'll go from the top, actually. And I'm actually looking for 10 URLs. And I'm going to go ahead and add these over to a text file. Okay, and as you can see, we've got 12 URLs here. So I'm going to remove this first one, which was the home page. Okay, high quality backlinks, how to get backlinks, backlinks, um, SERPs, SEO SERPs. So... What I'll do, I'll, this is 11, so I'll go ahead and remove this one here. Okay, and everything else looks pretty cool. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to copy all of these. Okay, in fact, what we'll do is I'll actually show you how we'll do it manually. Okay, so we'll go over to each URL, um, and what we want to do here is we want to go ahead and scrape everything that's on this post. Now, I know these posts are absolutely massive, um, but we want to scrape everything that's on these posts because this is what's going to have all of the content inside of there and all of the keywords that we need. OK, and then we're going to go ahead and paste this over to ChatGPT and we're going to say something like, um, please extract as many long tail keywords from the content as possible. OK, and I'll just do content. Obviously, we need to make our. Um, um, and I'm going to do that. OK, so obviously our content, um, so, sorry, our prompt actually needs to be a little bit longer. So the majority of this is just adding the text in there from the website. But our actual prompt that we added down here, please extract this, uh, we need to make it a bit more sophisticated. I'll show you the one that I'm actually using, but this has actually given us 44 long tail keywords, which is kind of cool. OK, but in order for us to get a nice big list, guys, we need to do multiple sites at the same time. OK, and if you're going to continuously go to each URL and feed it to chat GPT and then copy them, um, then you can do it that way. But it does get a little bit tedious. And when you have automation, then it just makes it so much more faster. So anyway, I'm going to show you how I can do this inside of the prompt generator AI. I'm going to go over to automation and I'm going to show you my strategy down here. OK, the strategy is called competitor keywords. I'm going to click on strategy and you can actually see what we're doing down here. We're crawling. 10 times so we're going to be crawling 10 different urls okay and then we're going to send over the content for all of those 10 urls uh using the api we can also use the chat interface here but i just find the api so much more quicker it's very very cheap as well um, and it allows you to get things done really really quickly okay so what i'm saying down here is below is content scrape from a website i want you to analyze the content the content theme primary and secondary keywords entities and nlp terms um, extract as many relevant keywords as possible based on your analysis that have associated search volumes from the scraped content. Consider variations, synonyms and long tail keywords to maximize the keyword output. Aim for 200 unique keywords. OK, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to run this strategy with you. I'm going to show you exactly how long it takes as well. OK, so inside of here, I'm going to add all of those keywords. Oops, did I go ahead and copy them? Yes, I did. Here they are. OK, I'm going to copy these 10 keywords. I'm going to add them inside of here. 
and I'm going to go ahead and click on save and I'm going to go ahead and click on start. And what you'll see from the top here is that the software is going to go out there and it's going to crawl the first website, then it's going to crawl the second website, then it's going to crawl the third, fourth, fifth, sixth, all the way up to the 10th website. Um, and we've actually got a delay down here. I'm going to click on stop. Okay, we'll go ahead and do this without a delay to make it faster. Okay, so I'm going to click on start now. So it's going to go out there and it's going to scrape the first site, then it's going to scrape the second site, third site, fourth, fifth, sixth, all the way up until the 10th site. And obviously it's extracting all of the content and saving it for us so that we can go ahead and send it to the AI. So what I'll do, I'll put this on pause and then I'll come back when it's complete so that you can, so that we can save a little bit of time. OK, so what you can see is the crawling's finished and we're now sending everything to the AI and it's super duper fast because it's fully threaded. So once we've done the 10 crawls, um, it went out there and done the 10 threads. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go over to the editor and I'm going to show you what we've got down here. I'm going to import and I'm going to import this very first file. And now this file holds all of the keywords that we just scraped from the 10 URLs um, from Backlinko, which is all about um, backlinks. Um, which is all about backlinks. Okay, and what I'm gonna do is just to make it easier to see exactly what we got is I'm gonna remove the commas because all these are separated by commas um, and I'm gonna separate them in a new line. So I'm gonna come here, I'm gonna paste everything down here. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and click on F. I'm gonna do a replace. I'm gonna find the comma and I'm gonna replace the comma with a new line okay you can just use the ai to get this done as well if you wanted to i'm going to replace all and as you can see we've got everything on a new line in fact i'm going to go ahead and replace some of these blank spaces in here as well and i'm going to replace all here and we've replaced all the back all, all of the um things down here so if i come down here we can see we've got 1,401 keywords um, from Backlinko, um, which is a web, which is a website that are ranking inside of Google. All we have to do now with these keywords, guys. Obviously, I, I like to go out there and do maybe you know multiple, multiple, multiple keywords and URLs at a time. And as you notice, guys, it takes really, really quick. So this actually took us 38 seconds. Okay, what we can do from here is we can take these keywords, for example. Okay, we can go to our software keyword cluster which you guys already have access to. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and go over to keywords clusters. Okay, I'm gonna add my keywords in here. Okay, and I'm gonna click on save. And I'm gonna go over to keyword clusters now. And I'm gonna go ahead and import those keywords in there. The keywords are in keywords clusters. And then these keywords here. Okay, and I'm gonna click on start. I'm just gonna use the normal um, algorithm down here and I'm gonna show you what we've got down here. So when I look at keyword clusters, it's really, really cool guys because now we have all of it clustered and grouped together. Okay, so we've got things like best link building strategies and then we've got link building strategies, best practices, best link building strategies, link building strategies, link building strategy and best practice for link building. Now, obviously they're very similar in nature. Um, some of these keywords are, um, but obviously, as you know, many keywords that are similar in nature have their own search volume associated with them. So it's a good idea to group these up. Okay, and um, this now gives me, if I have a look at the actual file, um, keyword clusters.csv, it's giving me 347 keywords that I can actually go out there and create blog posts on. Okay, so this is a brilliant way to go out there and uncover keywords that your competitors are ranking for and they are optimizing for and then you can go out there and do the same. Okay, another way that I like to do this as well guys is I actually like to go over to Google and I just like to do something like backlinks. Okay, so whatever your keyword is and then go over to link gopher and then you can extract all URLs and then you can take over these URLs here. Um, in fact, you can increase these strategies, guys. Okay, so if I wanted to, um, inside of the prompt generator AI, I can go ahead to that strategy that we just worked with. Okay, so all so this strategy here, and I can go out there and add even more crawls. So if I wanted to add more crawls in here, I could come here, click on crawl. Okay, and as you can see, the crawls added at the end. I can now go ahead and bring that call, crawl all the way to the top here, and I can start adding more URLs to crawl 
I can extract all of the crawled, I can extract all of the keywords with these prompts here, and then I can go ahead and save it over, guys. Okay, so this is a brilliant way to automate things really, really fast, and so that you can get massive lists of these keywords. Okay, um, so I like to go ahead and do it from my competitors. I also like to go ahead and do it from Google as well. And sometimes, guys, um, it, you know, you can actually go ahead and increase these strategies and prompt inside of them to get even more keywords. So what you can do with these keywords is group them together with keyword clusters and then go out there and target your own and then target them in your own websites. So I really hope you enjoyed this video guys and in the next video I'm going to actually show you how you can clone your competitors websites, how you can take their content and rewrite it as your own as well.